Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 reading. Typically my readings are love readings, but whatever comes up, comes up. I want to thank you for your patience while I was getting this out. You know, it's not June yet, so, and somebody has to be last, and next time I will put you up at the top, okay? So you guys will be one of the first ones in the next segment. I do apologize for the wait. I want to thank you for your um, patience. This is for the sign of cancer for the month of June. What does cancer need to know? I can't get them all done in one day because I take my time with my readings. And I don't do them when I'm spent, okay? So people don't understand that. If my energy is low, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a reading that, you know, it's just not logical. So this is for the sign of cancer. Ooh. Uh-oh. Somebody may be feeling burdened by a relationship. Okay. Somebody may be feeling like there's incompatibility here. There could be fighting going on, disharmony, disconnection, imbalance within a relationship, which is bringing some burdens, okay? It's, it's heavy. It's like there's too much responsibility here. It's too demanding. Maybe somebody is, is really causing you heaviness, put it that way. You may be thinking about not putting in any more energy or the person you're dealing with isn't putting in enough work. Somebody isn't working hard enough on this relationship. I mean, whether it's you or the other person, somebody's not putting in their fair share. Could be an earth sign. Could be any sign. But it feels like something is on the verge of ending because you have to do what's practical. Okay? It's time to be practical here. That's what the King of Pentacles is. He's wise, he's stable, secure, and practical. Okay? So, with the Ten of Swords, that looks like a death to me, doesn't it? I mean, something is over, it's ending, it's completing. Something is ending that caused a lot of hurt, okay? Now, we have two tens, so something is definitely completing here, it's ending. Something is coming to an end, and it certainly could be a relationship. Now, relationships come in many forms. It doesn't have to be... It can, a relationship could be with your family. It could be with your boss. It could be with your friend. It could be with your lover. That's what a relationship is. Whatever the case is, there is a lot of unhappiness here. There's no wish fulfillment, okay? With the Nine of Cups reversed, somebody's not happy in the relationship, whether it's you or the other person. And now it's become very, very heavy. There you are, could also be the other person, okay? This is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But, you know, I think that whoever this is had the best of intentions, okay? Whether it's you or the other person, somebody in this dynamic had good intentions for this relationship, okay? They meant well, right? But it just wasn't meant to be. It looks like it wasn't. These are both wish fulfillment cards. They're both reversed. You're in the middle. Whatever this situation is, it wasn't meant to be. There wasn't, it, it wasn't hopeful, okay? There was no, it was very insecure, okay? It was based on ego, okay? So it just feels as though there's been some cheating going on as well. There's been some deception, some lies, some sneaky behavior. Something, somebody has been stabbing somebody right in the back or in the chest. Somebody has been lying and deceiving, whether it's you or the other person. And therefore, somebody has to follow their intuition and do what's right for them. Um, I feel like you're dealing, either you or the person you're dealing with has many, many options. And you have to really use your mind in this matter, your mind and your heart, not just one, when you're making this decision to end this deceptive, lying, cheating situation. I believe there is a cheater in the mix. I don't know who it is. Um, somebody is being very, very sneaky. And you know it. Your intuition knows. You know it, okay? So when I'm talking to you right now, somebody is coming to mind. Ding, 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 ding. Okay? 
It's time for you to step back, take a time out, and reflect on what is happening, what has happened. It's a time of reflection in June. It's time to focus on your inner being. It's time to become aware of the truth. Become aware of what you're feeling. Become aware of your emotions. Become aware of whatever isn't working out. Okay? You need to really become aware. Become aware of what this burden is. Step back and focus. What is causing this heaviness within you? Okay? Right now, many of you are feeling empty inside. You're feeling empty. You're feeling like incomplete. Um, you may be dealing with somebody that's really hard to love, somebody that's resentful, somebody that's bitter, somebody that's hurtful, only says mean things. You know, you could be scared to leave this situation for what they're going to do. How are they going to handle it? What are they going to do to you if you leave? This person is very selfish and smothering and and uh, vindictive. So you probably know this, right? You probably know that if you leave this situation, there's going to be hell to pay, right? Making sure this is zoomed in. But anyway, um, I feel like, you know, you know, you know what is going, what is stable, what is secure, and what you deserve, okay? You know that something needs to end so that you can bring security and abundance back to your life. And I have to say, you, you know, the high priestess, you know. 10, 10, 10. End, 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 end. But right now you haven't ended it. You haven't closed the door yet. The door has not been closed, even though you know. You know that this burdensome situation in which you have felt really hurt and betrayed by needs to end so that you can bring stability and security and abundance back to your life. Okay, you know that. You know that it needs to end, but you're still worried. You're worried about it for some reason. I think you're dealing with somebody who is very vindictive and can get angry and cause damage. And yeah, yeah. And you know, I think that this whole relationship started out based on lust, based on sex, okay? And I think you've given it all the chances that you can give it, but I feel like you have woken up. I feel like you are wide awake in this situation and you're about to release this person that has been sneaking around behind your back. They don't see your beauty. They don't see your worth. Okay, they don't. They don't. They don't see what you're worth. And I think that you're about to get practical and real here. I feel as though, you know, you guys have been trapped and you're, you can free yourself from the toxic. This is a toxic situation. It's been causing you a lot of worry, a lot of despair, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of paranoia even. It's almost like this person makes you paranoid on purpose. And then they turn it around on to you. I feel like you've invested a lot in this person, but this person that you're dealing with may be another water sign. I'm not sure. Could be an earth sign as well, but it could be any sign. You're dealing with somebody who is often plays the victim. They're emotionally unstable and they project that shit onto you. Okay. So I feel like you've already invested a lot in this and you're looking at all you've invested and you're like, oh my God, I've invested all this. What am I going to do now? And I think what you need to do is really focus and concentrate on yourself. Put, be, take the lead. Be the boss. You need to be the boss, Cancer. Okay, you have the skills to take care of yourself, to go out on your own, to if this is job related, to start your own business and succeed. You are, you will be successful in this matter. You're dealing with somebody who's bringing you down. They are toxic. They're manipulative. They are only, we're only in it for sex. And I think there's a lot of, um, you've invested in this person, but they're not truly invested in you. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you, I don't know if there's like a new opportunity for cancer or what. What the heck here. Yeah, three is a crowd, right? Three is a crowd. It's time for you to find the strength within you to let go. Okay? You have the power to master your emotions. And I feel like the death, with death is an ending, right? With endings bring new beginnings. So I feel like, I almost feel like you're going to find somebody else. I haven't seen those cards. But it feels like. 
there's an ending here that needs to happen so that you can prosper again. You know what I mean? I feel like right now you've been going through a bunch of confusion. You're dealing with somebody who's been confusing you on purpose. Okay? They like to confuse people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you may be better off by yourself. You may be thinking, you know, I'm better off by myself. I don't even need to deal with this shit. I just want to be happy. I don't need to prove myself to you. I want to be happy. And I don't really want to be in any third-party situations either. So I feel like you guys may be thinking that you want to... And you've been paranoid about a third-party situation, huh? You have? I can see that you have. You've been paranoid about, you know... What's going on? Who's working with who? Who's cheating who? You know, something like that. But I feel as though you guys are probably about, or you are enjoying the finer things in life. You know, you're about to. I feel like you guys have been confused for some time. Somebody has been, you know, very mysterious. You've been dealing with a mysterious individual, but you have, like, seen right through it. Okay, you have. You know there's sneaky behavior here. You do. I have to tell you, your intuition is spot on. Intuition, intuition, intuition. Whoever it is I'm talking about, as I'm talking to you, you are absolutely right. This person is sneaking around behind your back, and you know it. And you may feel like you just, you'd just you rather take care of business on your own. Okay? So once you get to this spot, this Nine of Pentacles, where you're enjoying the finer things in life, you're single, and you love it, and you're proved to the universe that you're grateful for even the hardships, you're grateful for everything, that's when they're going to bring in a new opportunity. So I feel like as long as you don't go backwards and stay stuck in this rut, okay, right now you're missing opportunities for, for the Ace of Cups, you are by staying in this situation that is, is needs to end. It does. I see a rebirth, a renewal, a transformation, a new opportunity for the Ace of Cups if you can be strong enough to let go of this, whatever it is, cheating, lying, deceptive, seven of swords situation. You absolutely are seeing things clearly. You are wide awake. You know who I'm talking about. You know what this is. And you're wasting your time on a dead-end situation that's caused you a lot of paranoia. So, what advice do you have for cancer for this month of June? I don't even know if this is zoomed in. Advice, no rush. There's no rush. There's no rush into a new commitment, okay? Slow down. Slow down. Stop wasting your time in a situation that is going nowhere. Do not waste your time. You must turn your back on that situation because... I don't see any future there, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. But you need to slow down, okay? There's no rush for a commitment. You need to have faith. You need to believe in yourself. You need to follow your own path. And more than anything, this month in June, listen to your inner guide. This is the card of the inner guide. Many of you are also, you could be... Um, Meeting up with a Taurus in the near future. I don't know. You have Taurus quite a bit here. So there's Taurus, there's Capricorn, and Virgo too. So I think many of you are dealing with a an Earth sign or a... Well, you have you have Mal. So there's Earth sign, there's Water sign. Either way, I think that many of you may... You, you may have hurried into a commitment with the wrong person. Just saying. So uh, you may have wasted your time. Yeah, I feel like there's an end of contract here with the wrong one. Because you have somebody else, and I knew you did. You have somebody that's better suited for you. because But there is no victory and success where you're at. And I think you already know that. I, you do have somebody else. But right now, you have to work on getting your life back on track. It's not quite there yet. You need to get back your stability and your security in your home life, in your work life, in your, in your life, period, before you can find that stable opportunity. But I feel like many of you may feel like you've been left out in the cold. You've been hurt. You're in the dark. It's victim mentality. I'm a victim here. Don't let that, don't let that consume you. Okay? Do not. There is an end of a contract here, but it's because you have something better. It is. But there's no hurry. There's no hurry to jump into it. The first thing you need to do is you need to heal. You need to get to this. This is this is self-love. This is self-worth. This is enjoying who you are, loving who you are, being independent, taking care of business, knowing what you're worth. And when you get to this point, that's when the right one will come in. And this right one is going to love you for who you are. They are. But right now, I think somebody that is watching this is with the wrong one and you know who it is. 
there's too much incompatibility here. There is. I mean, come on now. Somebody is going to become single because there's too many, too many relationship problems. There's too much incompatibility. There's no harmony. There's no contentment here. There's not. We have this four of wherever it is. Four of Cups. There's discontent in a relationship. And somebody is wide awake. They know what they need to do. But it sucks, right? It sucks when something doesn't work out. So I feel like somebody is probably going to be single. And if you are already single, you're being called to love your life as it is so that you can call in your soulmate. So I feel like this is a month of getting out of a sneaky, deceptive, lying, probably third-party situation. Be, uh, that's what I think. Doing the practical thing. Waking up. What else does cancer need to know? It's about enjoying the finer things in life. Love yourself as you are and the rest will fall into place. We're going to get two. Interesting. Just ask. There are many here in spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine sources, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are willing to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance, and you do have a divine connection with that Hierophant and the High Priestess card. The messages that you are receiving are correct. Stop denying them. It's not paranoia. Even though the person you're dealing with is probably telling you that it is, it's not. It's not. You're not paranoid at all. Even though they'd like you to believe that, right? That's what they're trying to make. They're sneaky. They're deceptive. You're involved in a top with a toxic individual who has a sexual obsession. Or it could be you. Whatever. Somebody has a sexual obsession here and that's all they were involved with and it's a problem. Anyway, a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. I don't know how that resonates with you, but I'm sure that you can figure it out. It's the month of June is about waking up. This is a wake-up call. It's about waking up. It's about becoming aware of the truth. This card is truth. A secret is about to be revealed. The truth is going... But the, the, I'm telling you what. Somebody is about to hear the truth regarding a sneaky, deceptive situation. Whether you're the sneaky one or the other person's the sneaky one, the truth is going to come out. And it's probably going to leave somebody independent. If you're already independent, then you're, you're probably going to just need to love your independence so that you can call in your soulmate. Anyway, um, this is a call, okay? Anyway, um... I think that is all that I have for this month. Talk to you later. Oh, I don't want to hear any bashing underneath. Keep that shit out of the comments. I want to hear you bashing any signs for cross watchers or whatever. I don't want to hear that you hate any sign down in the comments, please. Let's all be respectful.